Hi guys, this is Kim Master from KimMaster.online and I hope all of you done well on Geoscientist 2020 examination. Here, I'm trying to analyze memory-based questions of chemistry of Geoscientist 2020 examination and I'm requesting all of you who are watching this video, just try to comment your questions, that means memorized questions of uh, Geoscientist chemistry examinations. By that, we can analyze most of the questions of Geoscientist 2020 chemistry examination. Now, just try to look at the question here. The compound, which is not meso, in the following. So, first, look at the chiral carbons of each of compound. Now, try to give priority order for RS notations. First priority for bromine, second priority for CH2, third priority for methyl, and fourth priority for hydrogen which is backside okay right priority direction is clockwise that's why here it is having or notation because uh, least priority atom or group is backside okay so we need to go with the priority order now one two and three okay so it is uh, almost anti-clockwise direction with least priority hydrogen backside so we can get yes and we know that whenever RS notation is absorbed on a single compound, then which produce meso. Okay, right. Now just give uh, here R uh, and for this first priority, second priority, third priority, and fourth priority for hydrogen and which is above the plane. Okay, just look at the priority order, it is anti clockwise direction but least priority hydrogen is over the plane so we need to take opposite notation to the priority order anti-clockwise direction so we need to take here r notation for it okay so we are getting r and r so it is not meso form or meso compound now just third one here r and here yes just take this one as dummy chiral center okay rs so it should be meso and here this one just take it as dummy chiral center now you can get or yes it is also meso first third and fourth or meso compounds and second one is not meso one and that is our answer okay next question the priority order of the following groups in rs nomenclature so simple question one first priority for this second one and third and fourth priority okay and next question entropy change of a reaction is given uh, with 100 joule per kelvin per mole at 300 kelvin temperature the enthalpy change of the reaction is here we have the formula delta x equals to delta h by t so from that we can get delta h Okay, right here, entropy is given in joules, but the uh, answer is asked in kilojoules. Okay, so for that, uh, almost you can get 3 kilojoule, uh, and that is our answer. Okay, you, is, you, you just memorize the options. Okay, right. And uh, next question, find the enantiomeric form of it. So just try to give RS notations on chiral carbons of uh, given Fisher projection of the compound. So, just first priority for bromine, second priority for this branch, and third priority for CH3, fourth priority for hydrogen. Just check the priority order. It is anti clockwise direction with least priority hydrogen on horizontal line. So, we need to take opposite and notation for it. So, just take it R. Okay. So, here we have R. And on this chiral carbon, first priority for this branch. Okay. Second priority for this one. Third priority for this, okay. Fourth priority for hydrogen. And priority order is clockwise direction with the least priority hydrogen on horizontal line. So we need to take yes notation for it, okay. We have RS notation on the given form. So under form should have yes and R, okay. So then it should be uh, that means an enantiomeric form of the given. Uh, Fisher projection of the given compound. Okay, so we have given with four different options and uh, if you find yes and or notations with respect to the chiral centers, then that must be one of its uh, enantiomeric form and that is your answer. Okay, right. And next question, the number of optical isomers of cholesterol. 
So cholesterol almost having eight chiral centers and for that uh, unsymmetrical compound uh, we can use the formula 2 power n okay. So 2 power 8 is equal to 256 and here 256 must be the answer because if a compound um, without a, a plane of symmetry okay so it should produce all of its chiral isomers as its optical isomers so it must have 256 optical isomers okay and third option must be the answer okay and next question so just look at the given uh, reactant and reaction condition so simply we have given it pinnacle lone rearrangement so lone pair of electrons and hydroxy axis and attack on it and ditch cleave from it and in the process so uh, one of the phenyl group migrates here and one of the here hydrogen and oxygen bond cleaves to make uh, keto functional group okay so finally you will get uh, the product as like this c double bond o ph okay so pinnacle lone rearrangement and this is one of the option you can see and that is your answer okay and next question here just look at the given substrate and the acid induced rearrangement the lone pair of electrons and oxygen of hydroxy group are type on h plus and uh, which cleaves it and here is the formation of secondary carbocation so phenyl group migrates here and makes tertiary carbocation that is a stable carbocation okay so remembering rearrangement and in the process uh, of further heating the hydrogen cleaves here uh, to make the uh, double bond here okay so almost you will get the product like this pH and pH and that is your answer and you can see this option in the examination okay right and next question so just look at the given substrate and here by just looking at the substrate and the reaction conditions you can say the given rearrangement is Beckman rearrangement okay right uh, the hydroxy axis in attack on H plus and which cleaves from it then the bond cleaves to attack on nitrogen right and uh, so simply on uh, further steps you can see so here C triple bond N okay and here we have positive charge on further heating hydrogen cleaves here to compensate it and uh, simply is a formation of double bond and you can see uh, one of the option and uh, it must be your answer okay and next question the efficiency of corner tension operating between 100 degree centigrade and 200 degree centigrade so here the efficiency of corner tension is uh, simply taken by the formula that is nita equals to your temperature h that is from high temperature to uh, that is low temperature by th okay so from that you can get the answer and you will see the option you are uh, okay right and uh, i'm just uh, requesting you that uh, just try to post uh, the memorized questions uh, of geoscientist chemistry on this video so by that we can analyze most of the questions okay thank you very much i hope the video is helpful for you